Hey guys, so in this video we'll be building an admin panel using Laravel filament. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so starting off, we just have a blank Laravel project to start off with. So if you don't know how to set that up, I'll just link to a video of mine which goes over the basics of Laravel. Okay, so once you have a blank install of Laravel set up, then we can install filament. So what you want to do is uh, in their documentation here, they provide a walkthrough of what we need. So first we need to install filament via composer. So we're just going to copy this line over here. Okay, so back in VS Code, just in the terminal, we're just going to paste that command. Okay, great. So filament has been installed. Okay, so next in their documentation, we can use the next command. So we're going to install the panels. So back in VS Code, let's just clear this and then paste that command. Okay, so just creating the admin credentials. Okay, so next we'll need to create a user. So go and copy this command, php artisan make filament user. And back in the terminal, paste that. Okay, so we're just gonna add the name, admin, add an email address, password, Okay, great. So now we can log in to our filament application. Okay, awesome. So now we're able to sign in. So just enter in the credentials that you created. Great. So here's our dashboard that is created with filament out the box. So next we'll create a resource. So we'll create a post resource so that we're able to have CRUD functionality in our filament application. Back in the terminal, what we want to do is create a new model for the post model. So what you want to do is we'll just clear this and then do php artisan make model. Let's call it posts and create the migration as well. Okay, so we're going to open up that new migration file that we created. So for the post, what we require is so a title of the post and the body. So over here, underneath the ID, we'll do table string title. Underneath that, we can do table text body. Okay, and then close that off. And then we can open up our blog model. So go into app and then model and then post. And then over here, what we're going to do is just make the title and the body fillable. Okay, so inside the post class, what we're going to do is protected, fillable. Okay, and then we're going to do title and body and close that off just add a little typo so protected fillable title body okay and then save and then we're going to run our migration command so open up our terminal php artisan migrate okay and if we check our database table we can see that the post table has been created after this migration with all the correct fields okay so back in vs code we can run the command to create the model resource. Okay, so the command you want to run is php artisan make filament resource, and then the name of your model, so it's post. So over here in the filament, created this filament folder with our post resource. So now we have a create, edit, list, and post resource. So this is all created automatically with filament. Okay, so let's just check back our application and see if any changes have been created. And back here in our dashboard, we're just going to refresh. Awesome. So now we have this post view in our dashboard. Okay, so over here, we're not able to create a post yet. We still need to set up the functionality in VS Code. So let's do that now. Okay, so the file we want to edit is over here called post resource. So here in the form, what we want to do is enter in the fields which we want to add to that form. So what we want to do is first give an input for the title. So we're going to do a text input. So text input make title and then that's required. And then underneath that, we're going to add in a text area field and that's going to be for the body data. And then that's going to be required as well. So it's just a lowercase text area. Okay, so we just need to import this as well. So import this class. Okay, so that's been imported. So let's save this and let's check our 
application. Okay, so back here in our dashboard, let's go into posts and then create new posts. And here we go. Now we have our form fields. So we're able to create a post. Let's say first post and then body first post and then click create. Awesome. So now that post has been created. So let's go and see our posts. So again, over here, we need to edit the table functionality. So we'll work on that now, but the data is being saved. So let's just check our database. So over here in our SQL database, if we click refresh, we see we have a new record for our posts. Okay, so let's continue with configuring filament so we can see the data in the post table. So back in VS Code, Okay, so over here in the columns, we want to just add in the data that we want to show. So we're going to do a text column. Make so the first column we want to see is the ID of the post. Okay, and the next we'll do the title. So again, we just need to import this class. Okay, so that's been imported. The next text column again and then this is going to be the title and then lastly is the body okay and then save that so we won't add any filters and then by default these look good okay so i think this should be good so let's go back and test our application again okay so back here in the post let's refresh and awesome here we go so we have our data being shown here now and we also can edit our post so let's try to edit that so let's just do edited and click save change and then back into post view and then we can just create another post for testing okay awesome so this is just a beginner tutorial. In future videos, I'll create a filament app with more functionality, but I think this is a good starting point for any developers interested in the filament package. And you can see how powerful this package is. So again, here in the documentation, there's more functionality you can add to your admin panel. So let me know what you guys want me to go over and I'll create future videos regarding those topics. So this concludes the end of the video. I hope you were able to follow along with this tutorial and set up this basic admin panel with Laravel Filament. If you're looking for help in your business with Laravel development, then you can check out my agency, mapletmedia.ca. Please like and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.